how will you assess his uh, performance in office? Well, even though I have not been on the ground in Anambra, reports reaching me, information reaching me from different reliable sources have made me feel grateful to God for what Governor Peter Obi has been doing in Anambra State. Um, but through lay people, priests, Catholic bishops, Anglican bishops, at least an Anglican bishop that I met, this, they have spoken uh, very gratefully about what Peter has done, having had a rather inclusive type of government in which the church and the government have partnered in many ways to build up uh, Anambra uh, State in a way that uh, makes those of us in Imo State rather envious, not in a negative way. We are happy about what has happened. And I think beyond that, I have read in the papers reliable documentation. So much so that even the President Jonathan, I heard him quoting that what Peter is doing, particularly in partnership with the church with regard to the schools, with the hospitals, and the support of industries, this led President Jonathan to take a cue from Anambra. And I, I still remember reading from the uh, This Day newspaper some time ago about how the World Bank and other institutions came to uh, the support of Governor Peter Obi because they watched what he was doing, how he was running the government, uh, that they have considered his pattern as a model to be followed not, not, not only by other states in Nigeria but by different parts of the world. So even though I have not been on the ground to see, but what I have heard um, has been confirmed by independent sources. So I feel grateful to God that we have had uh, uh, Governor Peter Obi in service. Uh, somehow we would have wished that he continues, but um, uh, since he has to respect the law and step aside, I believe that uh, whoever, uh, the person who has come to take over from him will continue in the same spirit. And we are praying uh, that the Nemo State will be able to have uh, that type of uh, uh, collaboration and partnership which Governor Peter B has uh, instituted in Anambra State. So I'm personally grateful uh, about what has been done. Even the people have told me, just go to Uli, uh, go to Ihiala. I haven't had time to visit uh, Uli and Ihiala. I've uh, resisted going for now, but uh, I have it on reliable authority that there has been a major development. There was a time Anambra State was in a state of depression. <laughs> Some years back, the school system had <laughs> collapsed. Teachers were um, literally away from the school system. But Anambra is now setting the pace for other states with regard to uh, schools and hospitals and industries also. So this is from hearsay, but I believe that what I have heard is based on reliable authority. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talking about partnership with the church, uh, how, how have that, uh, how has it impacted uh, the quality of education in a number of different places? I've also uh, well, in fact, the, the current principal of um, uh, Queen of the Rosary College, Onitja, who was a student at the time I was teaching in Alvin, and who was a, a principal in one of our schools, Maduna schools, yeah, she has been able to tell me directly about the impact of uh, uh, Governor B's um, intervention in the various schools. And the way this partnership has gone on has been that Governor Peter B would give them the money to work directly and comes back to see and is satisfied with what is going on and gives more support. So I have this on direct record from 
uh, what's her name now, Sister Chijioke Nwampo, the current principal of Queen of the Rosary College of Nature. At least that one person. But others have also spoken likewise. One of the sisters uh, recently told me about uh, Our Lady of Lourdes Hospital, how it has been literally transformed. So I believe that um, the kind of uh, approach that governor has taken to ensure that the funds that are given, that they are responsibly used for the good of the people. And from what I realize, he sees that every person in Anambra State, whether the person is in the church context or in the uh, public or government institution, all of them are citizens of uh, Anambra State. And wherever institutions are responsibly cooperating, it is for the overall good of Anambra State. I think this is what has come true in this partnership. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to react to the open criticism of President Jonathan by former President Jonathan.